this lecture i will explain the another testing of dc motor so there is swim once test swim once test or no load test of dc shunt motor so here armature and this one is field we are giving an external supply to the armature through rheostat this external resistance is re and here also we are giving field we are giving an external field resistance in series with the field winding in series with the field winding the current which is flows through shunt field winding is ish the current which is flows through armature is ia and these two are connected now i am giving this combination to 220 volts dc supply the current which is divided as two parts the line current is divided as two parts one is the armature current and another one is the shunt current so this is a shunt current or field current and this one is armature current we are connecting an external resistance in series with the armature as well as we are connecting an external resistance in series with the field why we are connecting an external resistance in series with the armature means we know that ia is equal to v minus eb divided by ra initially when the motor is under off condition eb is equal to zero and v by ra heavy current flows through armature winding it will be damages so we are connecting an external resistance and this is a variable resistance by varying this adjust the speed of the motor to some some speed by varying re by varying re adjust the speed of the adjust the speed of the motor to the some speed after that we know that back mf is equal to phi z done by 60 into p by a once design is over number of poles and number of parallel paths and number of conductors and 60 is constant eb is directly proportional to n phi where n is directly proportional to eb divided by phi and the flux is directly proportional to field current that is shunt current now ish is equal to supply voltage v divided by re dash plus rsh this is a variable part re increases then the shunt current will be decreases the number of flux lines produced by the shunt field winding decreases then the speed is inversely proportional to flux speed is increases adjust the speed to the rated speed adjust the speed of the dc shunt motor to the rated speed then note down the ammeter reading a1 indicates the armature current a2 indicates the shunt current see here here we are connecting one ammeter this is a1 and this one is a2 a1 indicates the armature current and a2 indicates the shunt field current generally the input power is equal to output power plus losses output power plus losses but here the name of the test is no load test 
the output of the DC shunt motor is not at all loaded and it is under no load conditions the useful power or output power is equal to zero whatever the input power is required to meet the losses only we are having two types of losses one is constant losses constant losses plus variable losses constant losses plus variable losses the input power is V into IL the power at power input at no load power input at no load is equal to power input at no load is equal to V into IL that should be equal to V into IA plus ISH and we have a field copper loss also the field copper loss is equal to V into the shunt field current what is the armature copper loss the armature copper loss is equal to IA square into RA so we can define now stray losses is equal to input power at no load input power no load minus field copper loss field copper loss and this is also called as a constant losses why because the uh, SH is constant and V is also constant minus no load armature copper loss so already we discussed what is the loss what are the losses are there the constant losses is stray losses uh, and uh, magnetic and uh, iron losses is called the stray losses so V into IA plus ISH minus V into ISH minus IA square into RA then this is called the stray losses see if the current which is flowing through a winding which will produce a heat whenever the whenever it will be loaded whenever it load it is loaded so whenever if it is loaded if it is loaded so mechanical load is applied then IA value will be increases generally during this test we are not loaded but we can assume that if it is a loaded the IA will be increases then the armature resistance is also increases to new value using a temperature constant equation RA is equal to 1 plus alpha 1 into 40 degrees if it is increases to 40 degrees and the shunt resistance is equal to V divided by RSH and the RSH dash is equal to RSH into 1 plus alpha 1 into 40 now the new field copper loss new field copper loss is equal to ISH dash square into RSH okay if you want to load the if you want to load the motor at 1 by 4th load what will happen so which term will be changes if it is loaded at 1 by 4th what W represents the stray losses if it is loaded at uh, load current 1 by 4th load is equal to I full load divided by 4 and what is the motor input so motor input uh, at 1 by 4th load is also 1 by 4th motor input means V into IFL divided by 4 suppose uh, if the full load current is 10 amperes at 1 by 4th load means 10 by 4 the value is 2.5 amperes now what is the armature copper loss so armature copper loss is equal to IA dash square into RA that means I full load by 4 minus ISH dash whole square into RA so why I am writing IA is replaced with C IL is equal to IA plus ISH and IA is equal to line current minus ISH 
if it is a full load current as yes, full load current minus ish okay the ish dash is also changes and uh, you can calculate the motor output motor output at 1 by 4th full load is equal to motor output at 1 by 4th full load is equal to motor input at 1 by 4th load minus losses so the constant losses will be constant this supply voltage is now uh, power is motor input is v into if by 4 minus this one is if by 4 minus ish dash whole square into ra and the uh, stray field losses is same and uh, stray losses is same and field copper losses subtract then you will get the motor output then you can calculate the percentage efficiency output power divided by input power into output power divided by input power into 100 so what are the advantages means we can know the constant losses the efficiency can be estimated if you know the losses and the efficiency is equal to output power by input power into 100 output power can be written as input power minus losses the input power you can assume because it is not at all loaded you can assume that the machine rating will be given on the name plate details of a dc shunt motor and uh, see that if it is a 20 amps you can assume 20 by 4 that means 5 amps and 1 by 4th load half load 3 by 4th load and uh, full load also you can assume and then you should calculate the losses okay the, the temperature rise is not included here okay and uh, disadvantages means the iron losses are assumed as constant which is not the true when it is changes from no load to full load why because due to the armature reaction at the full load there will be distortion in the flux so we'll discuss Problems on swimmer stress in the next class. Thank you.